Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video review of the Schrade PH2W fixed blade knife. Um, as you can see here, it comes in a okay leather sheath. Um, it holds in fairly well and uh, has this kind of annoying little leather strap thing there. Not crazy about that, probably be taking that off. Uh, the blade comes in total length just to under seven inches with the blade being about two and three quarter inches. Um, this one I received unfortunately does have a crack in the handle so I will be sending it back. Um, but it does have a really nice burlwood uh, handle, um, stainless steel blade and brass pins. Um, what else can I say? The, uh, the knife itself came razor sharp. Uh, I really just honed it a little bit, but I mean, it, uh, I was shaving hairs with this uh, right out of the box, so I uh, can't complain about that. Um, let's see here, we'll put this in. So you can see it is about, uh, if you can make that out, just, just about seven inches on the nose. Um, let me see if I can get a close up of this crack here. So it's on this side. I don't know if you guys can see that by this top pin here. Um, you know, not a big deal, but I would imagine uh, that you know, with time and some abuse, that would probably break free. So I, I did go ahead and order a replacement and I will be sending this model back uh, to Amazon. Um, I think I paid about $24 for it. So not an expensive knife, but really nice handle. Um, just, I mean, I don't have the biggest hand, so it feels pretty comfortable in my hands here. Um, has a little finger groove here. So, anyway, uh, not much more to say about this. I will just show you, uh, you know, a cutting test. Sorry. I'm shooting this on a DSLR, but let's see here. Um, yeah, so, I mean, again, it's really cutting through this paper just, just beautifully. Uh, so really, no, no sharpening needed. Um, you know, aside from the crack in the handle, uh, and I'm not crazy about this, but uh, other than those things, I really can't complain about this knife. I'm really excited about getting in, uh, out camping and getting to use it. I like that and. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Do just be wary of the fact that it is made in China. Um, not that that's a big deal for me, but you know, you definitely want to pay attention to the fit and finish when you get yours. So anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if I can answer any other questions for you. All right, bye-bye.